Hello, this is a video on how to keep your lawn green in the winter months here in the greater Phoenix area. My name is Eli Hall and I'm with AMS Landscaping. Uh, this is something that you need to get done in the month of October. What we're going to do is pretty much show you how to scalp and thatch and seed for uh, the fall. If you have any questions, feel free to follow us. Uh, go to our website at azlawns.com or follow us on YouTube or Facebook at AMS Landscaping. This is the turf area that we are going to scalp and thatch this morning. Uh, we turned the water off about two weeks ago, maybe three, uh, to get uh, in preparations to do this so we can make the yard easier to scalp and thatch. Uh, we're going to try to get all of the uh, thatch out of the ground so that the soil is completely exposed in order to get the seed to, uh, to germinate. We are thatching to pull up the grass that's layered in the bottom of the ground. Now there's not a lot of thatch on this ground, so not all properties will need thatch. Uh, and then we're mowing it up afterward. Now the yard, after you are done scalping and thatching, and we usually recommend scalping the yard first to see if you even need to bother with the thatching. Um, if there's no layer of, of soil on the ground, uh, maybe you just have a few areas that you just need to rake up instead of actually pulling out a thatcher. But we wanted to show an example of a thatcher and how it goes over the yard and pulls the grass up also. But the idea is just to cut it as short as possible to, ex uh, to expose the soil. As you see here, you can see the dirt is exposed in between the blade of grass. So much of this yard, most of it in fact, really didn't need thatched. Um, and in fact, we only did a few of the areas that had a little more denser turf. Now, after you're done thatching, you want to make sure that you test all your sprinklers so that you're getting proper coverage before you lay any of the seed down. And that's what we are doing right now with these uh, rotor heads, as you can see. Now, after you've scalped and you've tested the sprinklers to make sure you have good coverage, you want to make sure you have a rotary spreader or some sort of drop spreader that'll spread the seed. And also the type of grass you're going to want to use, the grass seed, is a uh, this is a brand I bought Pennington from Home Depot but the key word you're looking for is perennial ryegrass perennial is important they sell an annual but the blade of the annual grass is much thicker and it's a lot wetter and just more difficult to mow uh, when we get cooler this season now you can see this 50 pound bag covers 5,000 square feet uh, this property that we're doing here is 4,000 square feet so we're gonna need a little extra and I like to have a little extra for afterwards for filler when we, uh, after a few weeks to see what comes up. So this is us videoing uh, the spreading of the seed. Now we're gonna just make sure that it's layered on the ground evenly the best possible that we can. If you end up with extra seed um, for the amount, of, uh, for the size of your yard, you can just apply going the opposite direction. Now after you put down the seed, you want to set your timer and you want to be sure that you're setting the timer not to, to pull the water. You don't want it so heavy that it's flooding all the time. It's going to pull a little bit possibly, but the idea is to keep the seed moist for between two and four weeks just for the germination process. Now germinating happens a lot quicker when it's a little warmer out, but you really don't want to uh, put the seed down any sooner than when we start hitting uh, 70 at night, really prime time is 60 degrees at night. Uh, and then once we hit 50 degrees in November, usually it's, it's so cold that it takes much longer for the seed to germinate and the grass to, to turn around, turn into grass. So the, the sweet spot is in October to get this service done. And you're gonna wanna water uh, pop-ups, uh, just the regular pop-up sprinklers to pop up and just spray in, in one spot for about five to 10 minute cycles, three to four times a day. I usually tell people water eight noon and 4 p.m. Uh, maybe another cycle at 8 p.m. Um, and you just want the idea is just keep it moist during the day for at least two to four weeks for the uh, for the seed to come up you should see it in a couple weeks and after four weeks usually you can mow it now if you have rotating sprinklers you need to water longer because they're not stationary in one spot so you'll have you'll need to water those between uh, 15 and 30 minute cycles depending on uh, how much area that it's covering and you can just play with it. You want to water as much as you can without pooling too much. You, the idea is just to keep the soil moist. It's not uh, moist. It's not a, a real science here. So 
If you have any other questions, uh, check out our website at AZ Lawns. You can even give us a call here at AMS Landscaping at 602-944-0421. Uh, please follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube page at AMS Landscaping. Make it a great day.